Mercury or Deposits Definition Mercury or deposits refer to geological formations where significant concentrations of mercury minerals or compounds are found. Mercury, a naturally occurring element, is relatively rare in Earth's crust but can be concentrated through various geological processes into economically viable deposits. These deposits typically occur in association with specific rock types, geological structures, and hydrothermal systems. The formation of mercury or deposits can be attributed to several geological processes. One common mechanism is the concentration of mercury through hydrothermal activity, where hot fluids rich in mercury circulate through fractures and faults in the Earth's crust, precipitating mercury minerals as they cool. These hydrothermal fluids may originate from magma chambers deep within the Earth or from circulating groundwater heated by nearby magmatic intrusions. Another important process for the formation of mercury deposits is the alteration of pre-existing rocks containing mercury-bearing minerals. This alteration can occur through chemical reactions with circulating fluids or through metamorphic processes, resulting in the release and concentration of mercury. Mercury or deposits can vary significantly in their mineralogy and geological setting. Some deposits are associated with volcanic and geothermal environments, where magmatic activity releases mercury and other volatile elements into the surrounding rocks. Others may occur in sedimentary environments, where mercury is concentrated through the precipitation of minerals from aqueous solutions. The economic significance of mercury or deposits lies in their potential for mercury extraction. Historically, mercury has been mined for various industrial applications, including the production of chlorine, caustic soda, and fluorescent lights, as well as in gold and silver mining through the process of amalgamation. However, due to its toxic nature and environmental concerns, the use of mercury has become increasingly restricted in many countries. In recent years, there has been growing interest in studying mercury or deposits not only for their economic potential but also for their environmental implications. Mercury contamination resulting from mining activities can have severe environmental consequences, including harm to aquatic ecosystems and risks to human health through mercury exposure. Understanding the geological processes governing the formation and distribution of mercury deposits is crucial for mitigating these environmental impacts and developing sustainable approaches to mercury resource management. Overall, mercury or deposits represent a complex and geologically diverse class of mineral occurrences with both economic and environmental significance. Studying these deposits provides valuable insights into Earth's geological processes and the interactions between geology, industry, and the environment. Formation Process of Mercury or Deposits The formation of mercury or deposits involves a combination of geological processes acting over extended periods of time. These processes result in the concentration of mercury within specific rock formations or geological structures, creating economically viable deposits. While the exact mechanisms can vary depending on the geological setting, several common processes contribute to the formation of mercury or deposits. Magmatic processes Mercury can originate from deep within the Earth's mantle and be brought to the surface through volcanic activity. Magmatic processes play a significant role in the formation of some mercury deposits, particularly those associated with volcanic and geothermal environments. As magma rises towards the surface, it can carry mercury and other volatile elements with it. When the magma cools and solidifies, mercury may be concentrated in certain minerals or be released into the surrounding rocks. Hydrothermal activity, hydrothermal fluids, which are hot aqueous solutions rich in dissolved minerals, can transport mercury from its source rocks to locations where it can be deposited in economic concentrations. These fluids are often associated with volcanic activity, circulating through fractures and faults in the Earth's crust. As the hydrothermal fluids cool, they precipitate minerals containing mercury, forming or deposits. Hydrothermal processes can occur in a variety of geological settings, including both volcanic and sedimentary environments. Sedimentary processes, some mercury deposits form through sedimentary processes, where mercury is concentrated within sedimentary rocks over time. 
This can occur through the weathering and erosion of pre-existing rocks containing mercury-bearing minerals, followed by the deposition and diagenesis of sedimentary material. In some cases, organic matter within sedimentary rocks can act as a trap for mercury, leading to its enrichment within certain sedimentary layers. Metamorphic processes, mercury or deposits can also form through the metamorphism of pre-existing rocks containing mercury minerals. During metamorphism, rocks are subjected to high temperatures and pressures, causing chemical and mineralogical changes. This can lead to the release and migration of mercury within the rock mass, resulting in the formation of concentrated deposits. Metamorphic processes can occur in a variety of geological settings, including regions undergoing regional metamorphism or contact metamorphism due to intrusions of magma. Secondary enrichment in some cases, pre-existing mercury deposits may undergo secondary enrichment processes, where additional mercury is introduced into the deposit through the action of circulating fluids or weathering processes. Secondary enrichment can enhance the economic viability of existing deposits by increasing the concentration of mercury minerals within the ore. Overall, the formation of mercury or deposits is a complex interplay of geological processes operating over geological timescales. Understanding these processes and the geological conditions that lead to the concentration of mercury is essential for identifying and evaluating potential mercury resources and mitigating the environmental impacts associated with mercury mining and extraction. Formation of Mercury or Deposits the formation of mercury or deposits is a multifaceted geological process influenced by various factors such as geological settings, tectonic activities, and hydrothermal processes. These deposits typically originate from the concentration of mercury-rich fluids or the alteration of pre-existing rocks containing mercury minerals. The following is an in-depth exploration of the formation processes. Magmatic processes Mercury can be sourced from deep within the Earth's mantle and brought to the surface through volcanic activity. Magma, rising from the mantle towards the crust, can carry mercury in the form of volatile compounds or dissolved within minerals. As the magma cools and solidifies to form igneous rocks, such as basalts or granites, mercury may become concentrated within specific mineral phases or disseminated throughout the rock matrix. In some cases, volcanic vents and hydrothermal systems associated with volcanic activity can serve as conduits for the release and concentration of mercury. Hydrothermal activity, hydrothermal fluids, which are hot aqueous solutions enriched with various dissolved minerals, play a significant role in the formation of mercury or deposits. These fluids are often associated with magmatic activity or circulating groundwater heated by nearby intrusions of magma. As hydrothermal fluids migrate through fractures, faults, and porous rocks in the Earth's crust, they can dissolve mercury from surrounding minerals and transport it to shallower depths. Upon encountering cooler conditions or reacting with host rocks, these fluids can precipitate mercury-bearing minerals, forming or deposits. Hydrothermal processes can occur in a wide range of geological environments, including volcanic regions, mid-ocean ridges, and continental rift zones. Sedimentary processes, mercury can also be concentrated within sedimentary rocks through weathering, erosion, and sedimentary processes. Rocks containing mercury-bearing minerals, such as cinnabar, mercury sulfide, may undergo weathering, releasing mercury into the soil and water. Over time, this mercury can be transported by water and deposited in sedimentary basins, where it may accumulate in sedimentary layers. Organic-rich sediments, such as those found in swampy environments or ancient marine basins, can act as traps for mercury, leading to its enrichment within specific sedimentary sequences. Metamorphic processes Pre-existing rocks containing mercury minerals may undergo metamorphism due to changes in temperature, pressure, and chemical conditions. During metamorphism, these rocks can undergo mineralogical alterations, leading to the release and migration of mercury within the rock mass. Metamorphic processes can occur in various tectonic settings, including regions undergoing regional metamorphism due to tectonic collisions or contact metamorphism near igneous intrusions. As a result of metamorphism, 
mercury may become concentrated within specific mineral phases or form new mercury-bearing minerals, contributing to the formation of ore deposits. Secondary enrichment Some mercury deposits undergo secondary enrichment processes, where additional mercury is introduced into the deposit through secondary processes. This can occur through the circulation of meteoric water, which may leach mercury from overlying rocks and transport it downward into deeper parts of the deposit. Additionally, weathering and alteration of pre-existing mercury deposits can lead to the redistribution and concentration of mercury within the deposit. Secondary enrichment processes can enhance the economic viability of existing deposits by increasing the concentration of mercury minerals. In summary, the formation of mercury or deposits is a complex interplay of geological processes operating over geological timescales. Understanding these processes and the geological conditions that favor the concentration of mercury is essential for identifying potential mercury resources, assessing their economic viability, and mitigating the environmental impacts associated with mercury mining and extraction. Exploration and Mining of Mercury Ore Exploration and mining of mercury ore involve a series of systematic steps and specialized techniques due to the unique properties of mercury, its associated minerals, and the environmental considerations surrounding its extraction. Below is an in-depth exploration of the exploration and mining processes. Exploration A. Geological Surveys Exploration for mercury ore typically begins with regional geological surveys to identify areas with favorable geological characteristics associated with mercury mineralization. These surveys may involve geological mapping, geophysical surveys, such as magnetometry and gravity surveys, and geochemical analysis of surface samples to identify anomalous concentrations of mercury or associated minerals. B. Remote sensing, remote sensing techniques including satellite imagery and aerial surveys, can be employed to identify surface expressions of potential mercury deposits, such as alteration zones, mineralized outcrops, or geological structures associated with mercury mineralization. C. Geophysical methods, ground-based geophysical surveys, such as electromagnetic EM, surveys, induced polarization IP, and ground-penetrating radar GPR, can provide detailed subsurface information to delineate potential or bodies and structural features associated with mercury mineralization. D. Geochemical sampling, soil, rock, and stream sediment sampling programs are conducted to collect samples for geochemical analysis. These samples are analyzed for mercury content and other associated elements or minerals that may indicate the presence of mercury deposits. E. Drilling once prospective targets are identified through surface surveys and sampling, drilling programs are often conducted to obtain subsurface information and confirm the presence of mercury mineralization. Core drilling and rotary drilling techniques are commonly employed to collect geological data and or samples for analysis. Mining A. Open pit mining. In some cases, mercury or deposits may be amenable to open pit mining, especially if the deposits are shallow and extensive. Open pit mining involves the removal of overburden, the surface material covering the ore body, using heavy equipment such as bulldozers and excavators. Once the ore body is exposed, it is extracted using drilling, blasting, and loading techniques. B. Underground mining Mercury deposits occurring at greater depths or in structurally complex geological settings may require underground mining methods. This can include shaft mining, drift mining, and adit mining, depending on the orientation and accessibility of the ore body. Underground mining involves the construction of tunnels and shafts to access the ore body, followed by the extraction of ore using drilling, blasting, and hauling techniques. C. Ore processing extracted ore is typically crushed, ground, and subjected to various beneficiation processes to concentrate the mercury minerals. Froth flotation, gravity separation, and magnetic separation are commonly used techniques to concentrate mercury-bearing minerals from the surrounding gang, waste, material. D. Mercury extraction. Once the mercury-bearing minerals are concentrated, mercury extraction processes are employed to separate mercury from the ore. Traditional methods such as retorting, 
where the ore is heated to vaporize mercury, may be used. However, due to environmental concerns associated with mercury emissions, modern extraction techniques such as cyanidation or leaching with sulfuric acid may be employed to recover mercury from ore concentrates. E. Environmental Management Mining operations involving mercury or must adhere to strict environmental regulations to minimize the release of mercury and other contaminants into the environment. Measures such as containment of tailings, waste material, water treatment, and reclamation of disturbed land are essential for mitigating the environmental impacts of mercury mining. Overall, exploration and mining of mercury or require careful planning, rigorous assessment of geological and environmental factors, and implementation of appropriate technologies and practices to ensure safe and sustainable extraction of mercury resources. Effective management of mercury mining operations is crucial for minimizing environmental risks and protecting human health in surrounding communities.